Lena, <laughs> besides working at the hospital, you write as a side hustle like I do, right? Sure do. Must be hard to receive those rejection letters. I know it is for me. My stories are like my babies. Yes and no, Dora. <laughs> be aware. Editors are both greater and lesser than you are. <laughs> They're like ministers teaching their flocks. Speaking of ministers, I barely finished theology. But I was so good at it. Yeah, you told me a while back. I'm going off topic. Sorry. I do that a lot. What were you talking about? Oh, my writing. Sending your kids out into the real world with the desperate hope that they'll survive on their own. <laughs> Sending out your stories is kind of like that. Hmm. Never had kids. I can't relate. What I'm saying is, writers are like parents. Your stories are your kids. Be patient with them as you send them out to experience the real world. That's so hard. Most of your writings get rejected by editors. The more you write and send them out, the easier it gets. Can't take things personally in this industry. Hmm. And yeah, letting go of control of your stories can be hard. You've taught nursing, right? <laughs> yeah. Reverse the roles. Allow the editor to be like a teacher and you, the student. Take whatever advice they give you to hone your craft. I never thought of it like that. Hmm. You know Major Pearl at the hospital? She once told me I should be a nurse and not the director of care. Really? Yes, that's what Major Pearl said to me. I was so upset, I could barely respond. Sorry, I'm, I'm off topic again. Thanks for the words of encouragement, Lena. I have sent off my writing to a literary journal in the area. I really hope that this is my big break. No problem, Dora. By the way, what Major Pearl said to you was not right. Right? The nerve of her. I'm the director of care. And she has the gall to say that to me? When did she say this to you? I hope it was in private. To top it off, she wants to know what the education fund is being used for. Can you imagine? She thinks that I am stealing the funds. Why would Major Pearl be accusing you of abusing the education fund? It was a gift from the nurses' union for only nurses seeking further education. I know, and that's what it's being used for. I mean, I'm the director of care, but I'm also a nurse, and that's what the funds are being used for. I deserve it, don't I? So what do you want to study? Theology. Doctorate in divinity. Is that so? Yeah, I want to finish my theology studies. Hmm. I know it might be kind of surprising because I've barely told anyone, but that's because I can't talk to anybody at the hospital. Aside from you, Lena, I have another managerial meeting tomorrow. I'm dreading it. Why is that? Well, where do I start? The managerial team, they're a nightmare. The hospital's financial executive, he holds the funds with an iron fist. And Major Pearl, she's like a mother who sticks her nose in where it doesn't belong. And the secretary, she's a two-faced conniver. And our managerial meetings, <laughs> accomplish nothing. They're so dull and boring. Sorry for interrupting, Dora. I need to use the loo. <laughs> Dora.
Dor is a thief. She's corrupt. Major Pearl was right about her. She is not fit to be director of care at all. Oh, for God's sake, she's managerial staff. That education fund isn't for her. <laughs> she's stealing it and has the nerve to lie to me. Are you okay? Sure. Quit looking at me like I'm some kind of villain. You know what you're doing is wrong. No, it isn't. I deserve an education, too. That fund is for me. Dora, that education fund isn't for you. Your managerial staff, you should know better. It's for nurses who really need it. I need it. You are not going to make me feel bad for wanting to better myself. Hey, whenever you're ready. I'll pay for lunch. A gift from me to you. Thanks. Waitress. By the way, Lena, if you breathe a word of this to anyone, I will deny it and I will destroy you. Got it? <laughs> 